Welcome friends, myself Hrithik and today I will be discussing about some of the important topics in computer architecture and organization like binary division with non-restoring method and square root algorithm. So without taking much of your time, let's get started. Hi friends, now we will be discussing about the square root algorithm and for our better understanding I will be taking an example but before going to an example let's see what are the various parameters for the square root algorithm. Uh, let me do the slide show. Uh, square root algorithm. Let a be the radicant equivalent to dividend and division. Like what we have dividend and division here we will be representing it by a q the square root. Uh, like uh, what we have divisor in the division here we will be representing it by q and r the remainder. We all know that the square of the divisor plus remainder is equal to dividend or let me say like the, this like uh, under root of dividend is equal to q and a remainder that we will be representing through r. Now the most important thing here we have to focus is that for k bits in a that uh, we uh, that is like uh, we have k number of bits in a then q will have k by 2 bits that is the q will surely be uh, surely will be having k by 2 bits. Now many of you will be thinking like uh, if we have a, a odd number of bits in a then how can be the q will be having a decimal number of like 2 like a is having 5 number of bits then how q will be having 2.5 number of bits. So here we have the most important thing here we have to focus is that uh, we we must be having uh, num even number of bits in A that the K must always be even and if it is not even it is an odd number of bits then we will be adding a preceding zero in it. Okay, uh, same thing is written that like, uh, if the A is having K number of bits then Q will be having uh, K by 2 number of bits. The Here uh, these are some test cases uh, we will be following in our, uh, while we were doing our algorithm and uh, we will be seeing in an example like the first test, uh, test case value is 0 1 second test value is 0 q1 0 1 0 1 will be fixed in all of the test cases q1 is nothing but the first value uh, first bit of our divisor we will be getting when will we are uh, when we will be going uh, doing our algorithm and uh, here one thing is we have to look is that we have to sorry we will be adding a preceding zero uh, before every test cases like uh, for, for first test case test case value it is fixed 0 1 for the second test case value 0 q1 0 1 uh, Q1 I have already dealt first bit of the de uh, divisor and uh, 0 will be adding and 0 1 will be fixed will remain fixed for all of the test cases. Similarly for the th th third test case value it uh, the value will be 0 0 Q1 Q2 0 1 and the, the fourth test case value is triple uh, 0 Q1 Q2 Q3 0 0 1. If you are not getting right now don't be panicked when will we are doing our example surely you will be understanding all of the all, all these topics. And uh, one more thing that mark the bits of A in the group of 2 starting from left. That we have already seen that we will be making the number of bits in A will always be even. We will be starting our pairing from left only. Now we, I will be taking an example. Uh, like uh, here I am taking 169 as my example and here it is its binary representation. That is 10101001. Now uh, as we have already seen uh, like uh, our first test case value is 01. So we will be putting here, uh, we have uh, taken the first test case value and now we will be subtracting. Now after subtracting we will be getting a, uh, we will be getting 0 1 as a result. And uh, as we know that 0 1 is positive so we will be uh, storing uh, our first bit of divisor as uh, Q, divisor or Q as 1. So if the thing we have to focus is that whenever we will be getting a, as a, a positive re result after subtracting we will be storing a 1. And if we will be getting a negative result we will be storing a 0 and here 0 we will, we will be taking as a positive value so whenever the result of a subtraction will be a 0 we will be storing 1. When it will be positive we will be storing 1 and when it will be a negative we will be storing 0. So while going through the example we will get all the all these cases. Now uh, we what will be the uh, here we have stored the 1 as our first bit of our divisor. Now uh, we have to uh, bring down the next pair. Next pair is nothing like uh, the, this is the next pair 1 0 we will bring bringing down it here and this is uh, our remainder we, we have we have got after subtraction. So uh, think what will be the next test case value. Yeah it is 0 Q1 0 1 and uh, see that uh, 0 we have added a preceding 0 1 is nothing that we have stored in Q1 and uh, 0 1 will be remain fixed. So now after subtracting this value 
will be getting 0, 0, 0, 0001. This is also a positive number. So think uh, what will we will be storing in Q2? Yeah, right. We will be storing Q2 equals to 1 because we are getting a positive result. So we have a we have stored a uh, we have stored a positive result uh, one sorry one in uh, Q2. Now again we will be bringing down the next pair. So what will be the next pair? It will be uh, one zero. So we have uh, bring down the next pair one zero zero triple zero one is our remainder. So uh, pause the video and think what will be the next test case value. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, right. Next case, uh, test case value will be 0, 0, Q1, Q2, 0, 1. So, we have added a two preceding 0. Value of Q1, Q2, we already know that 1, 1. And the te te this, this will remain fixed for all of the test cases. Now, see that here we are getting a negative result. So, what we will be storing in our next bit of the day, Q, that is uh, Q3, we will be storing here as 0. So, let me store the Q, uh, value of Q3 equals to 0. Now, uh, the thing we have to focus is that when we will be getting a negative result, we uh, don't have to bring down the next pair. We have to re restore the partial remainder. What was the partial remainder? That that was 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. This, this, uh, this was the pair we have brought down, but the result we are getting as was negative. So we will again take the same pair and we will be taking, a, we will be moving it to here. So that is we are restoring the partial remainder. Now we will be taking the fourth test case. Uh, sorry, we will be bringing down the next pair. So what was what was the uh, next pair? It was zero one. So we have brought down here. This was the re, uh, rem, partial remainder what we have restored. And uh, now we will be subtracting our fourth test case. And what was uh, what uh, what is our fourth test case? It is triple zero Q one Q two Q three zero one. What was the what are the values of Q1, Q2, Q3? That is one, one, zero. So we we will be taking at uh, trip, uh, triple zero that are, we have added a preceding zero. One is the value of Q1. This is the value of Q2, and this is the value of Q3. And uh, this will remain fixed for all of the test cases we have already discussed earlier. Yeah. Now you see the value we are uh, getting after the subtraction is. Uh, the value we are getting after subtraction is 0. So as I have already told that uh, whenever we will be getting a 0, we will be ta uh, taking it, uh, we will be taking it, it as a positive and we will be storing 1 as our next bit of our Q. So I have stored uh, value of Q4 equals to 1. So here you can check that uh, uh, as 169 is a perfect square. So we will be getting, we are getting remainder as 0. And the value of Q is equals to 13. Uh, this is its binary representation. And uh, it, it, if you will see 1101 is nothing but is 13. So 13 square is equals to 69. We all know that. So we have done correctly. Uh, and uh, one thing uh, I would like to share you is that, uh, share you that uh, uh, check that the number of bits in A is uh, 8. Uh, let me count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, there are 8 number of bits in A. And the number of bits we are getting in Q is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have already, uh, we were discussing like uh, there will be always a K by 2 bits in uh, Q and here we are getting same like uh, we are getting only K by 2 bits on in a, uh, we are only getting K by 2 bits. So this was all about square root algorithm. Uh, I hope uh, it was helpful for you and uh, thank being the part of my discussion. Uh, thank you.